Hey guys, um, I'm here doing a video showing you how to survive your first night in Minecraft, but this is going to be different than the other videos because um, this is going to be a way to survive without wood, without coal, without all that good stuff. Because I know not everybody gets a perfect spawn every time they spawn, and I hate restarting my game over and over again just to try and get a good spawn so I can get all the items I need, when in reality you really don't need them. So. We're going to go ahead and start. I'm playing on Minecraft 1.9, Clear Day 3. This should also work in 1.8. There shouldn't be a huge amount of difference between 1.8 and difference between 1.8 and 1.9 in what I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and do single player. I'm going to delete this. That was a failed attempt at this video. We're going to go ahead and create a new world. I don't ever really keep worlds for a very long time. We're going to name it after me. Keep it simple. And we're going to keep it on survival mode. We're not going to do any seeds or anything because I kind of want a crappy spawn. So, we're just waiting for this to happen. I actually got the inspiration to make this video from a post I saw on Reddit a while ago. It, um, it was the Minecraft Reddit, though. It's uh, basically a picture that someone posted of themselves surviving their first night with a bunch of Endermen underneath them. Uh, they have like one bar of health left. I'm going to find the exact name and try and find the picture post. I think I have it saved on my Reddit. I have to find it though. So, we don't really need wood. But for the sake of my convenience and making this video a little bit shorter and a little bit, um, a little bit easier for you guys to understand, I'm going to uh, just go ahead and grab a little bit of wood. I don't need a whole lot. I, uh, what I'm really looking for is a clearing and a food source. Because what we're basically going to do is we're going to try and find a clearing and build a tower in the middle of that clearing. And we need our food source because of uh, the new food bar that they've added in. And I have this set on hard mode, so my food bar is going to disappear a little bit faster than usual. Uh, there's some stuff around here. But I have, I have this set on hard mode, so I'll get some more spawns than usual whenever it turns to nighttime kind of hoping for that so that we can see all kinds of different mobs. What is this? Hmm. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and take some of the sand. The sand is not a necessity, just like the wood. Sand is basically just for fun. If you, uh, if you spawn in the middle of a desert, you can also use sand for this, but I typically like to use dirt because uh, if a creeper comes up and explodes the bottom of my tower, I don't like falling. Because if, uh, if your tower is made out of sand, and if somebody knocks the blocks out from underneath it, it's going to make your tower smaller. And that, and if endermen come up, and uh, they're like, hey, this tower is nice, I'm going to take one of these blocks. Uh, you, have, you run the risk of uh, losing part of your tower and also dying. We're just going to gather some sand. This is for killing enemies later. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'm doing this just for fun. I've spawned in a pretty good spot. I think I could easily survive here. But for the sake of my video, we're just going to go ahead and pretend we spawned in a really crappy spot. This seems to be a good spot to start. Um, we... We're going to go ahead and go over to this hill. We're trying to find a tall, cleared off spot so that uh, we don't have any issues with visibility. I have my visibility set uh, to, my, I mean my render distance set to far so that I can see everything that's going on around me and that I don't really miss anything. I like it that way, but I know some people's computers freak out. It's not necessary to have it set like that. It's just easier for me, and um, I just prefer it that way. It's all in your preferences. So we're going to gather some dirt. We're going to gather about 30 dirt, and um, that's pretty much all we're going to really need. That's all you're going to need if you're doing this out of necessity rather than um, for entertainment. For entertainment, this is a really awesome method because you get visual of pretty much every mob in the game, except for gas and slime, and um, I mean, it's really nice target practice if you have a bow and arrow too, because you're up in a tower above all these enemies and you get the chance to uh, kill them all, so it's pretty nice. 
I have way more dirt than I need but you know, just in case I fall off of my tower, I wanna build I wanna be able to build another one directly under me. Um rather than having to tear down my old one and use the materials I built that one with. Yeah. So So, sake of my video, we're gonna make this uh easy for enemies to get up to. We're gonna make it kinda like a little stairway. [noise] And make it as easily accessible as I possibly can. Since I found in that other temp attempt that I did for this video I had uh issues with one of the enemies being able to get to me. I want them to be able to get to me so that So, this seems like a good enough place as any. And we're gonna build our tower here. But we're gonna go ahead and just mark this with some of the sand I have. Because I'm gonna go look for a better food source. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh mark this with a little sand tower. And I'm gonna go kill some chickens. Chickens you can kill about five punches. And they do yield a food source if you punch them. The added bonus of killing chickens is that you get feathers. And if you're gonna continue this map having feathers is nice because they uh they help make your arrows for your bows and arrows. Which is a very useful weapon later on in the game. As you progress. It doesn't really take a lot of effort to build this. But for right now we're pretending we don't have the resources to build it. So, can you continue punching the chickens? I like to have at least ten pieces of food, by the end of um by the end of my hunting, I guess you could say. So, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing that. I'm gonna start this back up to whenever it gets closer to dark. All right, the sun is now beginning to set. I can hardly see it setting because it's such behind these gigantic mountains that I did not seem to notice before I stopped my video. Um, I realized something whenever I stopped my video. I uh went back to check the the uh playback to make sure everything was recording right and I realized you guys can probably hear everything that my TV is saying. Uh, so I just turned the sound down a little bit. Okay, um so basically since it's starting to get dark now, things are gonna start to spawn, there's probably some stuff spawning behind me already. So, we're gonna go ahead and just start building our tower. Oh, and you guys can tell I kinda cheated. I used that wood to build some tools to kill some stuff quick. I just get impatient. So, we're gonna build right underneath us and just jump and throw. Jump and throw, jump and throw. Jump and throw. And we wait. Um, stuff will eventually start spawning. Stuff should be able to get to us pretty easily. Uh, for n- if you're doing this out of necessity, I would uh recommend building on top of something that's not like this over here. Cuz you can see this is really easy to get up to. If you wanna build on something that's a little bit more difficult to access the top of, like a something with a very long drop off. Like this. That's gonna be a little bit harder to get to. And this is the first time I've seen an enderman spawn so quickly. That was the mob I was hoping I was going to be able to find. So I see enderman already starting to spawn. There's some skeletons. Uh I think there's a zombie over here. But as things slowly begin to spawn, things are gonna start spawning closer. See that creeper over there? Um Hopefully there's nothing over here that can blow up. I doubt he's gonna blow up without me messing with him. Um easy way. Once they start getting closer I'll show you guys an easy way to kill people that come up to your uh kill things that come up to your tower. Uh just by dropping sand on 'em. Levitation or something. I'm not really sure how it works, but it works. I think gravel also operates the same way. I've never tried it with gravel. Sand's just so easy to uh So easy to find. Gravel's a little bit more difficult for me to find for some reason. And I think another thing I failed to mention was the experience bar. Um right that green bar right below my health is uh the experience bar, if it's recently been added into um Minecraft. It's uh a more recent feature. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to evolve into but if you kill animals it gives you experience, and if you kill monsters I believe it gives you more experience. But the the um the experience I have so far is just from me killing animals. So as you can tell, I killed quite a few. Um you wanna make sure your health stays up during the night, which is why I said you need at least at the least ten uh ten pieces of food. Nothing's approaching us so far, we're just gonna keep waiting. I might have to actually pause the video and start recording when something comes closer. 
I'm gonna try and attract a couple of Endermen over here because those are the easiest to uh easiest to aggro. In my opinion, from a distance. Mobs? Um I don't see where anything in here actually spawning. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and start back up whenever uh enemies start to look a little bit more interested in me. [laughs] [noise] Hey, it looks like a creeper has taken interest in my tower. Now, the one thing about this mech is that you have to be very, very careful. Since uh they do have some brick. I'm gonna go ahead and build up right underneath me a tree fort just in case this little fella decides to blow up. And very carefully. Edge to the edge of this. Um he's beginning to suffocate. And he's probably not gonna blow up. I don't think he's gonna blow up though. He's just gonna suffocate. So this is where I wanted to end, because they die so quickly just by using that hand. Yeah. The only disadvantage of that is though um I like to go back down and retrieve my cannons, because it makes it more difficult to kill my enemies if uh if there's a bunch of them in the battle. So typically Hey, there's another guy. And he's going to make it over here. Let me see if I can do this. Uh but we're gonna drop some sand on him too. This works on just about any and any enemy I believe. What? No. All right, you just have to cover them all the way up. That's the thing. You have to cover them with like between two and three blocks of sand, and it will start to kill them. And at the end of the night you can just retrieve the things that they drop. I don't think the other one dropped anything. But um Sometimes I'll drop stuff, sometimes I won't. I guess it just depends. The spider's probably got the best points for that one. Yep, spider's like, "What is this lady doing?" [laughs] All right, I'm gonna try and kill this gentleman here. No, I knew that was gonna happen. Go away. Get away from me. Go away. [laughs] Now see, the important thing here is to stay calm. Whenever that happens, and just kill the enemies. Typically you can get away from them faster than they kill you. Or you can kill them faster than they kill you. And then [noise] just build your tower again. [noise] And start over. That's all you gotta do. And don't be afraid of falling. It's not really a big deal. You just gotta be careful to watch your health. Um that's pretty much how you survive your first night in Minecraft. If you're spawned in a really crappy spot. Hopefully you'll um get some really nice loot and uh I already got some string, so maybe I can make a bow and arrow. I really was hoping some endermen would show up, but Yeah, since they're all in one swamp area here, hopefully my next video will feature endermen. And um if you guys have any requests for anything from the IMDb all the memes are just like a step. So we've successfully made it through our night without any cold or anything. So, it's a pretty easy way to make it through the night. Or I mean, you can walk around, but I stay with you for the evening. And uh [noise] if you guys have any requests for any videos or anything, I'd be happy to uh happy to help you out. I haven't been playing for too long, so some stuff I might have to learn on my own before I do a video, but So my next one I'm hopefully gonna try and track down an NPC village. And introduce you guys to the creepy NPCs. Um Like I said, if you have any questions, comments, whatever. Just leave me a comment. Send us a message. Um There are more than just a few of us on this page that are doing Minecraft videos. So, I'm sure any one of us can help you out. All right, thanks for watching.